my good fans of uh, Captain Kalistus University of Aviation, how on a day? Another day, another update. Together with my lovely crew members, we are welcome on our ZB. Now, everybody, we're going to follow us on all these four guys on the entire plane. They download all our bags and put it back. And they road clear. Now, the update why I carry come today is the question that so many of you have been asking. So many people have been having that confusion, but some persons have actually asked it under the comment section. What's the question? The question is about the gears of the aeroplane. Some persons have been asking, does the aeroplane have gears? Just like the way our vehicles, cars, have gears as well for its movement, like we do gear one, gear two, gear three, gear four, five, such like that. Now I want to let you guys know about that of aeroplane. Does the aeroplane have gears? No. But we still have some things they call the accessory gearbox. Like I said, we have something we call the accessory gearbox. And we also have what we call the landing gear. Some of us, we already know about that, which is like the wheel struts of the aeroplane. That is what we call the landing gear. So the idea of aeroplane having gears like our vehicles, I said no to that. Reason being that the gears of our vehicles, if you can remember, you know we have like bicycles. Bicycle that we ride, it has a pedal. And that pedal is linking uh, the pedal and the back wheel with a chain, right? So as you are pedaling, the force you are applying is what is rotating that back wheel of the bicycle. The same way to our vehicles, our cars, the gears of our cars, where they are linked, they are linked to a strut that is connecting the tires of the vehicle. So as the wheels are rotating, the faster the gear or the faster the revolution of the gear, the faster the wheels of the car, right? But in aeroplane, we don't have the engines or the gears connected to the wheels of the aeroplane because we are not running on ground. Abby, good. So now, what the aircraft works with is with what? The jet engine, like this one here. It's the way it functions is that it works with air that goes into the engine. But we have what we call the, the high state, the, the compressors. That is that fan blade in front. I will show you guys. The fan blade in front, it sucks in air. Those air that it sucks in, goes into the combustion chamber. It first sucks in air, the air from the first blade. That one where on the sea. I will show you guys after after this. The first air that it sucks in from those blades that we see in front of the engine, the air sucks it in. It now takes it into the, the high state and compress the air. Some of them go outside while some go inside the combustion chamber. The compressed ones. Inside that combustion chamber, that is where the fuel, the injector, will launch in fuel and ignition will take place. When that ignition takes place, just like the way we see explosion of gas or let's say you see a burning fire or something and you launch in more fuel into it, you, what will happen? Explosion will happen. So as that explosion is happening, it goes through the exhaust pipe. As it passes through the exhaust pipe, it's giving the aircraft enough thrust for it to push forward. As it's pushing forward, that is where how we are getting the thrust to move the aircraft. So the the stuff is not connected to the gear because aeroplane know they work out for ground. Now for up for air, it they fly right. So as it's moving, that is how we get the thrust and the wings which is this one, give the aircraft that lift where they keep them for air with this thrust that is coming from the engine. That is how the aeroplane gets it there. Now, those uh, accessory gears that I talked to you guys about, they are just like, um, I don't know how I will explain it to you, but there are components that does what, what they do is that they help in supplying uh uh, we have like uh, the fuel pumps, 
the hydraulic pumps, the oil pumps, um, the uh, drive generators that, that gives electricity to the aircraft. Those accessory gearboxes are just the ones that are connected to each of these respective systems to give it the operation that it needs to circulate uh, hydraulic, circulate oil, uh, fuel uh, into the engine, electricity that we get, you know, inside the aircraft. All right. So that is the function of those accessory gearboxes. But do they operate like the way we have on our cars? No, just like I've done the explanations for you guys already. So I believe with this, you will now get to understand the way, though I didn't break it fully down, the way the aircraft works in terms of the gear. We don't have gears like we have on our vehicles or on our cars on the road. No, because the aircraft doesn't fly on the ground. All right. So the gears are not connected to the tires of the aircraft. No. What we actually have, we have landing gear, which is just those ones that drop as it's sitting on the ground now. And when we take carbon, we retract the gears and they go up. All right. So that is just it. I believe with this, you will be able to understand your question about how, if we have gears on the aircraft or not. For those that are asking for a reverse gear, I will come up with a video for you guys on that one. But first thing that, does the aircraft have a reverse gear? Just like the way, way they do reverse for our cars there. You know, they move, go back. Yeah, no, that one, you know, the, yeah, but it's still there somehow. All right? But if you need the update for that one, I beg, drop them under the comment section. I will bring the update component. So let's go. Let me show you guys the fan blaze that I'm talking about. So now, this is the fan blade. This is the fan blade. This one sucks in the air. If you look, you will still see that there is another tiny, tiny blades inside. These smaller, smaller ones that are close to the inside. That is where the wind that will come from here, the air that will come from here, some of them will go through this way and leave the air there. But the ones that enter inside this smaller part are the ones that go into the combustion chamber and from there they compress it, they squeeze the air, the air go tight, it tight where where then when fuel launching, pa lights just follow and pa combustion, you go here, go up. As you do that, go up. Engine don't pick fire. As you they shoot the excess fire, come out for the exhaust tail pipe side. Now, so if they push the air aircraft, they go forward. And the explanation why I go give you, come up so that the, the exhaust pipe. So, as you push down, that combustion chamber there for inside here. Now, as this is not blue, the whole of this section now, now into the exhaust. Come here, let they see, say, you see there another like blades <laughs> waiting for inside here as well. At the high state, this is the that. So for here, naive the whole combustion from that this net where they see for here with like blade. So inside, now there the combustion they happen. The whole of this, this one hot that you the whole of this is now the exhaust. But the readings that we get from here. Everything is happening. We are seeing everything in the cockpit the way they are as it's reading. If it's going high, we will see. If it's normal, we will see them. All right. So that is it for it. If you have any further questions, please drop it under the comment section, and I will definitely bring the update to you guys. I still love you, Captain. Cheers, guys.